Hi there, I'm Brian Croker. Today I want to show you how you can um, resize a Canva uh, design and how to get it ordered. And we're going to try and do it all uh, ordered for printing, uh, all in less than five minutes here. So what we have here is I, somebody has built a square shaped uh, greeting card invitation and they want to make it four inches by five inches wide. So what we're going to do here is they're actually able to share the link in Canva. So the good part is you can actually share your design file if you're struggling. So the first thing we're going to want to change here is our scale is in centimeters. And we're going to want to work in inches to make sure that the quality stays high. So first thing you're going to do is change it to inches. You can see that we have um, five and a half by five and a half inches. So what we want to do is we want to take this design and go with we're going to go five inches wide by four inches tall. And Canva does a really good job here of, uh, first, it saves the original file. So if does, this doesn't work out, no problem. And secondly, it'll make it a rectangle without ruining all your artwork. So this is better than starting from scratch. You can see we had a square and we simply converted it to a new size. And it looks like they want to have a cut off. So we could probably take this element here and uh, recenter it. Boom. And we got the same kind of vibe there. Got the beautiful couple. Let's make sure we haven't lost anything on the back. Invitation to follow. So it's done a good job of uh, scaling it out. Maybe we'll, go, uh, da -da. Maybe we'll scale that down a bit. So if it's detached here, we might want to start from scratch. And cool, this is a cool thing we can do. So we can bring this to the front. And da, da, da. it's nice to scale these boxes here to what you want for a size. So that when you drag it, you're not dragging the um, white space as well. So we'll go like that. A kind of nice faded edge to it. Off the side. So we'll wind up sending this back to Jasmine for approval, but you could go ahead and play with this um, if you want. Another cool thing you can do, of course, is you could copy this page and make secondary revisions. So another thing, if you wanted to add a frame to it or like a shape, you can go frame in the elements tab of Canva. And if we wanted to kind of do uh, a circle, then we could drop this into the circle. And we could get a really cool kind of feature like that. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to export this file for print. Um, since we're going to give two versions to, the uh, to uh, this customer, let's duplicate the first page as well and drop it down here. So we'll have one version of page one and one version of page two. So what we're going to do now it's important on Canva to download the print quality file. So you're gonna download. And the default is always a PNG because it's commonly used for digital artwork. So you're gonna to wanna to not take the PDF standard, but you wanna take the, excuse me, uh, you wanna take the PDF print file. So we're gonna do that one. And then if you're ever ordering this for printing, uh, it's really helpful for the print company if you check mark this box here, crop marks and bleed. And then you can simply hit download. And then the next step, stay with me, we're going to get this ordered um, uh, online. So continue editing. So we can go take a look at our file. Downloads. So we can see that we now have uh, a print quality PDF. Page one, page two, page one, page two. So we got two different versions uh, that we can do here. It's not my design. So let's assume we're gonna go with uh, page one and page two. If you want to, uh, so we can just delete uh, these pages here. Okay, so we have a four inch by five inch finished print size. So this person, Jasmine would like to get, 50 of these, I believe. 
So uh, we'd like, I went ahead, she's already got her envelopes. So we just need to make the card. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to uh, littlerockprinting.com or anywhere, but uh, this is the one, this is our business here. So, uh, so what we're gonna do here, we'll go to greeting cards. Uh, announcement cards would be a good solution for this, wedding invites. And we're simply going to go uh, five inches wide by four inches high. So we just use the finished cut size, even though the files got bleed. You don't need to factor that in. Uh, this one would look really good on uh, uncoded. If you need a free sample pack, of course, you can get one uh, in the sample pack section of the site. Both sides, uh, no extra finishing. So if they were folding it, we could do that here. But we're just doing cardstock one. Pick your production speed and they wanted 50. And if you did want like an obscure number, these are the price breaks. If you wanted something obscure, you could go 55 and uh, you do that there and it would add it into the card. So 50 of these, you got your summary for the printing. So you're $61 for 50 cards on this case. And we're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we can drag our uh, file into here. So we're gonna browse. We save this class file. That's the copy of that. We're going to drop that file in, let it load. And then we're going to go, once you got the garbage can, that means it's fully loaded. Add it to the cart. And we got a file, we got everything else, and you just simply go ahead and complete the checkout at this point. So I'll, I'll leave it here on this screen. Oh, that's the wrong uh, page there. Um, so we got everything in the cart and we are good to go. And you just go, I won't bother putting in all the information on the uh, credit card info and address, but if you have any questions, let me know. And that's how you resize a Canva file uh, and get it printed. Thanks.